attach a lot of these inflammatory disorders. Now this, uh, the main receptor here we're looking at is the GPR-119. And GPR-119 is very, very unique. It is for pain control. And this is kind of where initially, uh, especially the use of medical marijuana, but now the use of CBD has, has gained so much popularity. We all know and we've all seen on the news the dangers of opioids and the severe uh, risks of addiction to opioids and people dying from these overstimulation of opioids because here's what happens just like I alluded to earlier is with a lot of these substances they do not do not stimulate this GPR119 molecule they're mainly anesthetizing your body body so they're down regulating everything and people just take more and more and more until they down regulate things so much that they die. They downrate their respiration rate, they downregulate their heart rate, and they literally move themselves into a, a drug-induced coma and pass away. But CBD oil does not do that. It has a direct effect on the C neurons, which are your pain transmitting neurons through this GPR-119 receptor site. And and your typical opioids have no effect on pain. They just anesthetize the body. So that's a huge concept to grasp so that you realize that the more you take of that, the more risk you are of lowering the function. And you see these people that are on these opioids, they're just zombies because they're so drugged up and they aren't, they aren't even a functional human being anymore. But they have to get in that state to avoid their chronic pain. But this is the answer for them because this naturally inhibits pain transmission through the C neurons that go that are the pain transmitters of your nervous system and uh, that's what makes CBD oil so unique is this whole pain control aspect now you add on top of that the anti-inflammatory aspect if you have studied chronic degenerative diseases at, at, at all you know it all starts with low-grade inflammation that affects whatever system you're talking about. So, for example, low-grade inflammation of the cardiovascular system leads to strokes and heart attacks because you get the, the placking. Uh, chronic low-grade inflammation of the brain leads to Alzheimer's and Parkinson's because you get the placking up in the brain. And we could go on and on and talk about all the different systems and how that chronic low-grade inflammation ages the body. It ages your skin. It causes the things that we typically don't want to to do so uh, CBD oil is known as the new anti-aging anti-inflammatory uh, ingredient that you can add to a healthy health preventative wellness lifestyle so you don't have to have symptoms to benefit from CBD oil and that's what I want you to understand so let's talk about the many benefits of CBD well we probably don't have the time to go into all of them. We can go to the next slide though. But I do want to talk about the varieties of cannabinoids. So you have the endocannabinoids. Those are the ones that are produced in your body. And we already talked about one of them. Then you have the phytocannabinoids. That's the CBD, the THC. Then you have the synthetic. And that's the bad stuff that you don't want to buy. And if you look down in the right hand corner of this slide that's some of the names so if you're looking at a product and it has some of those names you don't want to buy that product they uh, there was just an article that I shared earlier in the week about uh, many of uh, people having horrendous side effects from using these synthetic can cannabinoids so make sure that you are not using them and that's why again we're doing this webinar uh, because we want to make sure that you're tapping into a company that has integrity and is going to give you a product that you're going to get good results with and it's going to give you uh, the benefits that you are desiring as well as removing the risks that come with synthetic compounds. So I'm so thankful to have found a company that is so conscientious and has carefully researched the different growers and uh, uh, selected a specific grower from Europe that they get all their hemp products from and we'll talk about that in a minute. So as I was saying there are many benefits to CBD oil and you see some of them listed here. Now one thing that I want you to notice is you'll see 
CBDA. That is the acid form of CBD. It is useful and there are some benefits, but it is not easily converted to CBD, which is the active form of the cannabinoid that needs to be in your body. Same thing with the THCA. There are benefits there, but it's an acid form and it's less beneficial. So you'll see when we show you the product, uh, the, the analysis of the products that we use, the raw products that we use, they have a very low uh, CBDA and THCA content. Um, the CBD period is the most beneficial uh, ingredient and as you see has the longest list of benefits and it also has the longest list of research that's out there. So it plays an important role in skeletal remodeling and, and upregulating your bone mass. And, and as we get older, we, we know that more and more people are, are getting uh, osteoporosis and osteopenia, so that's an important function that CBD oil can play in your health picture. Also, I've already talked about the anti-inflammatory properties, but think about, about all the people that end up with arthritis. And uh, arthritis of the hands is particularly aggravating, and this will help with that. And I want to talk about the three uh, ways that you can consume CBD oil as well. They do make a salve, so you, you can specifically rub it on your hands where you're having that arthritic-type pain, and it goes more directly to that area. The salve is also very beneficial to skin lesions, so if you have... Uh, I had a patient in this evening with, believe it or not, poison ivy in the middle of winter, but they did. And so uh, we gave them some salve so that they could uh, use that to get through this irritating time. It's also super beneficial. Uh, this time of year, I see lots of people's fingers cracking and, and, and getting super dry. And, and, of course, that's hugely painful. I mean, the salve heals that up virtually overnight. I see a lot of people that have the same cracks in their feet and their toes and have bad lesions, etc., on their feet from uh, poor circulation or degeneration in the nervous system that doesn't allow good health and nutrition to get down to your extremities, and the salve is super beneficial there. You also can use a... Um, of course, the typical oil form, and you can take that orally. Uh, best to do it under the tongue where you have the most neurotransmitters and kind of hold it in your mouth a little bit and swish it around is the recommended way to do it. Also, they have a oil that you can put in an e-cigarette. And the benefit about that, if you do have a severe condition that you know you need to get it into your system very, very quickly, then that is the most immediate way to get it into your system. So uh, one of the benefits of um, CBD oil is it does help to uh, reverse the effects of a seizure. And so if you're able to get that in somebody's uh, uh, system, uh, in that case you might have to blow it in their face because they might be seizing and not able to even suck on an e-cigarette. But that has been shown to have tremendous effects and then of course over time once they get that CBD oil in their system then it actually prevents the seizures from happening. It also helps prevent strokes because of its neuroprotective uh, elements and then it even augments stem cells and we've heard a lot of research about stem cells and the benefit of stem cells but those are the cells which are kind of allow every type of cell to develop in your body. So it, it, it's kind of like the baby cell that differentiates into every other type of cell. And then if you have an autoimmune condition like Crohn's, uh, psoriatic arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, it helps with that and it even improves sleep. So lots of benefits and that's just a short list of benefits of the CBD oil.